So in a recent post bag, I got this, which is a PDLC smart glass panel. Um, PDLC stands for Polymer Dispersed Liquid Crystal. Now I'll draw you a little diagram in a minute, show you what's happening here. But essentially it's just like a liquid crystal display. You've got uh, some liquid crystals in there and we're gonna polarize this sheet so that they align essentially. Now we've got two layers on here. Well, it's probably more like four layers. So we've got a plastic layer on one side and the other. Then we've got kind of like this doped layer that is ionized, I think. Um, that's a bit of a guess, but, uh, and on in the middle, we've got this polymer, which is holding our liquid crystals. Um, and at the moment, you can barely, you can see through it. I think it blocks like 33% of the light. I think that number rings true in my head. Anyway, if we go further away, it becomes even more opaque looking, but if you go quite close, you can still see through it. Now, Craig Childs uh, commented on the last video and said that he's got a couple of things like this in his office. Um, one of them runs on 60 volts and another one runs on 110, but there are ones that run on these little EL wire battery packs. And I thought, well, Heck, why don't I find a Variac and then I can just dial up the voltage on this. But then I remembered, I actually have some EL wire. Now this, this is uh, EL wire here. Let's uh, put some batteries in so you can see it going. I might need to turn the light off. Um, so electroluminescent wire requires an AC voltage. Um, I wasn't sure if that panel was DC or AC. Um, in the eBay uh, description, in fact, in the eBay pictures, you could see that it came with the this panel actually came with a power supply that uh, dropped the voltage for a transformer to something not 240 volts which is what mine would be but uh, my one actually came with one of these lovely death adapters so not dropping any voltage here and just this uh, two pin cord power cord with a switch on the end and a little DuPont style connector. That's not dropping any voltage. So it was gonna put 230 volts straight into here. And I know it's not designed for that. I mean, I can tell because of the plug, it's designed for 110 volts or 100 volts or whatever it might be. Um, we're not using this, there's not a chance. So we're instead gonna be using one of these. And this kicks out something like 70 volts, I think. Um, so I can turn it on. Let me turn the lights off so you can see this. So it is actually glowing and it flashes, flashes faster. Don't know if you can hear the very high pitch squeal. Let me bring this closer to my microphone. You might be able to hear that squeal. I'm gonna leave it on. Um, in fact, I'll leave it flashing and we'll just plug in another one just because I have them. <laughs> They're making all sorts of beeping squealing noises. Okay, I think that's enough. So let's turn them all off. Um, and we're gonna use one of these, turn the lights back on. We're gonna use one of these to power our PDLC display. So I'll put them over there. But um, before we do, I think I'll draw you a little diagram of what it's meant to look like. I've got all the battery backs here. Let's just uh, keep one with batteries in. So the idea with this thing is you've got um, an outer plastic layer on either side. You've got this sort of doped layer, which, uh, I mean, the whole thing's kind of like a capacitor really. And then on the inside here, we've got these liquid crystals and they're suspended in a polymer. And they're all in this like random sort of direction. And so that gives it its sort of semi-opaque nature. Semi-opaque, semi-transparent, whichever one you want. And then when you pass um, your alternating current through, they start to reorganize. So we would end up, well, I don't know why that's so wobbly. Oh, well, we've got it now. <laughs> that's what we're having. So they'll start just to go in a straight line like that. So just like you find in any kind of liquid crystal display, they'd all be just sort of in one 
direction. So light coming through here might hit something and not pass through. Other bits of light might go all the way through. So we get to see some, but occasionally it hits. Um, but with this, we get to see a lot more light passing through. There's a lot more uniformity to it. So we get to see more light coming through. So we've got this pack here, but it, it will not plug into there. It's not made for that. So we'll get a couple of these wires and we'll plug them in. Now, I don't know what's positive and negative here, um, but it's AC, so I'm guessing it doesn't really matter. Okay, it's plugged in, so let's turn it on. Well, that is not working. Shall I try and flip this around? I haven't, um, honestly haven't tried this yet, so. I do not know whether it will work. Right, well, let's measure the voltage on this. That would be a, a good way to start, wouldn't it? So I'm seeing 1.7 volts AC. That doesn't seem right, does it? Oh, it's, was it off before or the battery? Ouch. <laughs> Got a little tingle there. <laughs> okay. Oh, it has gone off again. Is the battery voltage too low? Well, it doesn't like being red. Is that it? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna change the batteries for some brand new ones and we'll give it another go. No, well, that does not work. Why doesn't it work? Well, I've tried everything I can think of and it turns out it won't work from those little devices. So we're gonna break out the death adapter. <laughs> and plug the darn thing in. This is gonna be interesting. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but 230 volts incoming. Okay, so don't know if it's on or off. Okay, it works. So it does need a higher voltage. So what, this is 230 volts then? It didn't, there was not anything at all at uh, lower voltages. Now, I would like to know how much current this uses, but honestly, I'm kind of terrified of mains electricity, especially when it's coming through one of those death adapters. And in fact, those are live at mains there, so I should probably be careful. Whoa, that's cool. So can I safely pick this up? I'm gonna assume so. Let's get something underneath it so we can sort of see this a bit better. So we've got this robot picture, so I'll just bring this a bit closer to the lens so that it, the opaque effect. So it's about two inches from the picture. And if I turn it on or off, oh, that's on actually, isn't it? So actually, I mean, it's still quite distorted, isn't it? So when it's, uh, it's off, it's completely opaque or almost. I mean, I kind of love it. <laughs> okay, well, that is the answer. It required a higher voltage than was being kicked out by one of these things. And I couldn't even measure the voltage coming out of one of these uh, for some reason. And it did give me a bit of a tingle. So <laughs> there we go, that's pretty cool. So I can plug it into mains. Not really sure I'd be totally comfortable with that. How fast can I switch this? So it looks like it has a little, it's not immediate.
but it's pretty fast. I mean, that's fascinating, isn't it, really? Should we zoom in? I don't think it's going to give you any extra information, but... What would be lovely to see with a Variac is if I turned up the voltage to see at what point it starts changing and, and whether in fact it changes to a degree um, so it gets clearer as the voltage goes up potentially. I'll see about getting hold of a Variac to try this out. All right, I'll speak to you all again soon. Thanks a lot to, um, to Craig Charles for his information, but turns out this one's <laughs> Wouldn't work with one of those little EL wire things, but so plugging it in via the death adapter uh, works.